So it was an observational study uh, looking at our own data uh, at Ohio State. So we looked at a uh, comparable cohort of patients who had uh, lobectomy uh, through an open approach, uh, through the video assisted thoracic surgery approach, or VATS, and robotic. And we compared those three groups. Uh, we looked at short-term outcomes, which include post-operative complications. And what we noted is that patients who had robotic surgery and VAT surgery had a shorter hospital stay and had less pulmonary complications uh, compared to the open thoracotomy. Uh, in terms of the long-term oncologic outcomes, and the way you measure outcomes in cancer surgery is uh, when a patient recurs from their, op from their cancer or when they have a uh, you know, death event uh, you know, long-term after the operation, which is called overall survival. So in a direct comparison, uh, looking at all three of the approaches, we found that the uh, overall survival and the recurrence-free survival uh, was very similar between the three groups. Uh, the importance of this study is to show that robotic surgery, which is a newer approach, uh, is equivalent to VATS and to open thoracotomy for resection of early stage lung cancer. So not only are the short-term outcomes uh, better uh, than open surgery for robotic uh, lobectomy, uh, the long-term oncologic outcomes are equivalent. So in our minds, that validates that robotic surgery is a, a preferable choice for patients for early stage lung cancer.